Our father was uh, always very much into service. He talked to us about the fact that we really weren't in the telephone business. I remember asking him, I said, well, Dad, if we're not in the telephone business, what business are we in? And he said, you're in the service business. Right. And I think that's always been the perception uh, that we've tried to maintain. And I think it's a perception that actually started back in 1910. And if you're not, if you're not working for the customer, then you're letting your customer down. And what this does is it frees us from looking at a particular technology and saying, well, this is, this is the end product. It's never the end product. It's always about service. And how do, you, how do you reinvent yourself to provide better service, better communication service to the customer? The technology is just a tool. Uh, we're, if a customer says they want to have uh, the ability to get on the internet, we have to figure out how do we get them on the internet. If the customer says they want to have video in Pulaski, want to have cable TV, uh, years ago when there was no cable over there, um, customers came and said we wanted it. So we figured out how to do it. We use the technology to do that. The technology is the tool we use to serve the customer. We follow a principle of getting back to our customers to make sure that in fact we're doing what they want us to do. We actually, with our Cellcom business, we contact 30% of all of our customers every year to make sure they're on the right plan, that they're satisfied with the product that we're, pre uh, we're presenting to them, and also get ideas from them as to where we should go from here. The other part of the picture is to look out and see what's happening elsewhere in the world. Um, so uh, Pat and I and, and other members of our team will travel worldwide, uh, uh, be in, in Asia, over in, uh, uh, over in Europe, or throughout the United States, looking and seeing what other people are doing, where the trends are, what are the newest and, and greatest things happening, then we always come back and do a reality check. It's great that you can do all these wonderful things, but do people really want to do it? And do our customers want to do it? And we bring that back in, and once we've discovered that there is an opportunity, by being out on the leading edge, we're able to bring a technology that may not have been available any other way. Uh, to our area and, and offer something new. In 93, we uh, first brought the internet. The interesting thing is a browser wasn't invented until 93. So it was before uh, anybody in Green Bay, uh, at least most people in Green Bay, didn't think there was anything like an internet or could care less about it. But we did check it out. We did realize that there were some possibilities. So sometimes we're a little ahead of the curve, but we're always doing it with an ear to where the customer wants to go. What's their desire and what do they want to get at the end? They may not know the technology. That's our job to bring them that. Rob and I have uh, different um, talents. Uh, one of the things that the board directed Rob to do is to take a look at where the industry is going over the next six weeks to the next six years. So Rob is always looking at new products and always bringing in ideas as far as here's a product we should be looking at, here's something that we can really develop for our customers. Pat comes back and says, well, are we going to make money? Uh, you know, it's a great concept, but will it make money doing that? We, we kind of work off each other in that way because it's, it is, even though service is, is our end product, we do know we have to constantly look at new products and we have to be ready f for what our customer needs are and uh, be a little bit ahead of them because in a lot of these products we talk about the Fento cell, the, the product is something that's not known to customers. We're going to have to bring something to market that they really aren't familiar with but we have decided it's probably going to be uh, in their interest and something that uh, they'll take a strong liking to. I run the operations, but it's because of Rob's uh, ability to bring these new products to us that we're able to stay ahead of the curve. I have a tendency to think way out of the box and sometimes just out of the box. Pat has the ability to understand that out of the box thinking and also look at the practical side of it and figure out how it does work within the box. And so it does make a good complement and a good team. It's fun.